Yo, what up y'all? Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Borderlands 2 split screen on one computer where one player uses a keyboard and one player uses a controller. Um, if you want to do more than two player split screen, you have to do it through a program called Nucleus Co-op. I can make a separate video on that if you wanted, but for now I'm just going to stick to without using any additional programs or anything like that. Um, to start off, you're going to want to open wherever you have your Borderlands 2 installed. I have it installed to my D drive here. Um, if you got it installed uh, through Steam, you'll probably go through your C drive, go to Program File, Sims 86, Steam, Common Apps, then open up Borderlands. But once you open up your Borderlands, go to Binaries, Win32, and here's like all the actual launchers and stuff like that. Uh, all you want to do is go ahead and right click the Borderlands 2 launcher, click Create Shortcut. Take your shortcut, put it on your desktop, put it somewhere, you know, that you won't forget where it's at. Uh, go ahead and copy it and paste it. So now you got two shortcuts. Right click the first one, go to properties. And uh, all you want to do is in the description, I've got these two little codes. All you want to do is take the first one for player one, copy it like this, and go to after the quotation marks in the target path, do one space, and then paste that in there. Click apply. For player two, you want to do the exact same thing. You want to just go in, right click, click properties, go after the quotation marks, do one space, paste it in, click apply. Then you can rename these to whatever you want. I'm going to name the first one player one, second one player two. And now you just got to make sure that you have two controllers connected. For this, I'm going to be using a PS4 controller, so I have to use this program called DS4 Windows. Once it detects that my controller's on, yep. Um, it might have to use an Xbox controller, so if you don't have a PlayStation, or if you don't have an Xbox controller, you got to use this program called DS4 Windows to make it to where your PlayStation 4 controller is assigned as an Xbox controller. A lot of older applications only detect those for some reason. It's it's kind of strange, but it, it's no big deal, really. Um, only reason I'm making this video, there's one on YouTube from about six years ago. The main issue with this is if you have Borderlands 2 installed through Epic Games, you cannot do this. It is only through Steam. should have totally said this at the beginning of the uh, the thing, but if you have it installed through Epic, you got to get it on Steam or something else like that. Um there's there's literally no workarounds. I looked for hours. So it, it just kind of sucks. But um, yeah, now all you literally want to do is open up player one. Go ahead and add another display capture so you can see my uh, see my other monitor. Here we are. Okay. Nice and loud as hell. Holy shit. <laughs> so top left is going to be my second monitor bottom right is going to be my main one um, all you want to do is click on the first application and depending on how you want the application um, if you want both of them on one screen you can I'll show you how to do that in a sec if you have them on separate monitors you have to just press control shift and then the arrow key or windows key shift and then the arrow key for which monitor you want it on It'll flip it around like that. And then for the second player, go ahead, boot it up, let it do the same thing. Player one is the one that the controller will be assigned to, though. Um, and your mouse and keyboard can still control it, which can get annoying sometimes, but generally it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let me make sure the audio is not all whack. Oh, we're straight. Um, but once the players get into the game, what you need to do is go to Network Options. Want to switch it over to LAN. Wait for your second instance of the game to load up. And, oh uh, yeah, just uh, go ahead and do the same thing for the second. I'm sorry, I'm really tired making this. Um, set it to LAN, then go to the first player. Click on Find Games, and hopefully it'll pop up. It should show up right here. Click join, it'll connect to the host, and you're good to go. The second player will be using a controller, uh, or first player will be using a controller, second player will be using a mouse and keyboard. If you're going to do two controllers, you're going to have to do it through Nucleus Co-op, unfortunately. Um, yeah, but if you want both of the game applications on one screen, pretty simple. Let me just go ahead and load into a game, show you guys that it fully works. A lot of, like, 
local couch co-op uh, mods or stuff people made for games aren't the uh, aren't the greatest because the games don't have actual built-in co-op. But yeah, here we are. It fully works. Me and my brother, I don't know, probably put like 40 hours into it now. It's where it's like, I know it, it works really well. If it lags a bit, because like I kind of have a shitty graphics card if it still works. Like I've got like a 1650. It's only got 4 gigabytes of VRAM. Um, just go into your settings and lower all your graphics settings. It just helps out a shit ton. You can also lower your resolution if you really need to, but should not be that big of a deal. There's also one issue I encountered where my mouse would go over into the uh, second player's screen and it would make it try to start controlling their game, but there's a really easy temporarily fix while you're doing that, uh, if that's happening. All you want to do is go to your display settings by right clicking your desktop, Bring in your second monitor above your main one so that your mouse can't physically go over like that. Just while you're playing, it's simple solution if that's an issue you're having. And now finally for the last part, if you want to have both Borderlands on one screen, you gotta go into the launcher for the Borderlands game, and this is where you can actually adjust the, uh, the different settings that Borderlands has. Windowed mode, full screen, uh, resolution, you know stuff like that and you can just customize this get it to where they both fit on one screen and you'll be good to go also one final thing if you have any audio issues with the game I guess I'll just go ahead and show you real quick if you have any audio issues with the game where you can't hear both players audios or if one of them's you know out of sync or some shit like that which is just a couple things that happened to me when I was uh, first setting it up all you have to do is go into settings of the game and there's a setting that says, you'll see in a uh, second, I guess. <laughs> there's a setting that essentially says, audio loss on, uh, keep audio on last the tab, and you just have to flick that on, and you'll be good to go. Right in here, you go to audio. That is not audio, audio. Right here, mute audio on focus loss. Make sure that's disabled, and you should be good to go. Um, final recap, go through it a bit slower real quick if you uh, need a little bit of help. Here, I'll also go ahead and lower the resolution. You can also go into your settings files, um, where it saves them and customizes this resolution to where, like, It'll fit the screen perfectly when you want to do split screen on one monitor, but it, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, so little recap. You want to right click your Borderlands, do create shortcut, take your shortcut, name it whichever player you want. This will be player one, but you got to have two of them, so you want to copy your shortcut, paste it, and make it sure there's a second player, player two. And for player one, all you want to do is add the little code that says always focus and click apply and OK. For player two, you have to add controller offset to where it doesn't use the controller and save data ID to where it's the second player. Boom, like that. And you just press apply and OK. And then you just boot up the game. It should be good. Uh, thanks for watching. Found this helpful. Consider checking out my other stuff. I'll be uploading more split screen shit like that because I've been doing a lot more lately. And uh, yeah, have fun.